National Academies Press, Wikipedia Article Audio The National Academies Press was created to publish the reports issued by the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine, the National Academy of Engineering, the National Academy of Medicine, and the National Research Council. It publishes nearly 200 books a year on a wide range of topics in the sciences. The NAP's stated mission is seemingly self-contradictory, to disseminate as widely as possible the works of the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine, and to be financially self-sustaining through sales. This mission has led to great experimentation in openness regarding online publishing. Online Pricing Experiment Free PDFs The National Academy Press was the first self-sustaining publisher to make its material available on the web, for free, in an open access model. By 1997, 1,000 reports were available as sequential page images, with a minimal navigational envelope. Their experience up to 1998 was already indicating that open access led to increased sales, at least with page images as the final viewable object. From 1998 on, the NAP developed the Open Book Online Navigational Envelope, producing stable page URLs, and enabling chapter, page, and in-book search navigation to images of the book pages to enable the user to browse the book. Notably, this page-by-page -page navigation was produced long before Amazon's Look Inside, or Google's Book Search. 1998 through the present, the NAP gradually evolved the open book to first enable better external findability, as well as exploring the boundaries of knowledge discovery and exploration, Implementing related titles in 2001, the Find More Like This Chapter in 2002, Chapter Skim in 2003, Search Builder and Reference Finder in 2004, and Active Skim and Enhanced Search Builder in 2005. In 2003, the NAP published the results of an online experiment to determine the cannibalization effect that might obtain, if the NAP gave all reports away online, in PDF format. Developed as a Mellon-funded grant, and working with the University of Maryland Business School, the experiment interrupted buyers just before finalizing an online order with an opportunity to acquire the work in PDF for a randomly generated discount, 50%, 10%, 100%, 70% off the list price, and if the answer was no, the NAP would offer one more step off the price. The conclusion was that 42% of the customers, when interrupted when buying a print book online, would take the free PDF of the book, meaning that 58% of the potential purchasers were willing to pay to have a printed book. Significant implications to publishing strategies are produced by these numbers, especially in the context of NAP's long-tail experience when it gave away free access to PDFs to low-sales content, which resulted in only 33% loss of sales, over 18 months. Through mid-2006, as reported at the AAUP annual meeting, the NAP remained financially self-sustaining as a publisher, even while progressively expanding the utility of the online experience, and increasing its online traffic and dissemination. Multiple articles and presentations by Barbara Klein Pope, Executive Director of the NAP, and by Michael John Jensen, Director of Publishing Technologies for the NAP from 1998 through 2008, provide background on the evolving business strategies for free in an environment of content abundance that the National Academies Press continues to pursue. On June 2, 2011, 
the NAP announced that it would provide the full text of all of the reports of the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine as free PDF downloads.